I'm here today to talk to you about how I am a failure on many fronts, and I, I'm mostly happy with this. Let me let me give you some specific examples. On my YouTube channel, at the moment I'm recording this, I have 401 subscribers. Now, to put that in some context, I've been making videos on YouTube for about 12 years. That's over 4,000 days. 400 subscribers is, by any measurement, not impressive across 4,000 days. It like, takes me like 10 days to get one follower. So I suck at that front. I have this mobile app. I just released a big update to this mobile app where you can make these twitchy little stickers. In the past seven days, I've made $8.48. That's a dollar something per day. I can't even get a cup of coffee for that. I'm not going to talk too many details about my book, but even though my book got some good reviews and good feedback, I didn't sell as many copies as I wanted to of my book. On all these fronts where I'm putting a lot of my effort I'm kind of a failure by a lot of measurements. We can hash out exactly if I did the wrong thing, if I didn't market things enough or at all in some cases. Like, I never tell anyone to subscribe to my YouTube channel. But um, so, so there's all kinds of reasons why I'm not successful. But here is my main point right now is I love doing this shit. I, I'm not trying to make a living on any of these fronts. Though I sometimes dream about it and, you know, every now and then I'll try to find a way to get these things to succeed. But I am so happy. Like this might be like the happiest time of my life because I'm just enjoying all these things. And I just wanted to sit with that for a second. Uh, it's so easy to get lost in the metrics and how to succeed and if other people you know are doing better. But sometimes I forget to ask, like, am I having fun? And even though I'm not succeeding when I look at the numbers, people still tell me, hey, I, I liked that video. I read your book. I liked your book. That mobile app is funny that you made. So more than zero humans got a kick or were affected by these things. I'm enjoying myself. I'm figuring out how to pay the bills with the day job that I don't mind either. What the fuck is wrong with that? Anyway, I have to, rem this is kind of me talking to myself to remind myself, like, I'm having a blast doing these things, and I feel like they're meaningful. They're meaningful to me and for more than zero people. Damn, that's great. And I also think about, like, for me, there's been a few occasions where something went viral, whether it's a, um, a video or an essay, whether it's about parenting or migraines or whatever. I've done various things that have gotten a lot of attention. And I'll tell you, the weeks where those things got attention, I was not happy. <laughs> I was a wreck. You know, like one time I got like a like hundred messages in one day and 99 of them were good, positive, like that, that thing you wrote affected me. One person said, you're a bad person and it fucked me up. So I'm not trying to say like getting attention and success is bad. I mean, part of this is just things I'm working out with my therapist about why I get overly sensitive and affected by these things. I just want to rewrite the story for failure and unsuccessful and what that means. Because if you look at the analytics, if you look at the chart, I'm looking at a graph right now of the money I'm making on my app and my YouTube numbers. And you look at those numbers and you're like, wow, I suck. I don't suck. I'm having a great time. I love it. Oh, what's the problem? Subscribe to my channel. I'm just kidding. I don't care.